Hi, everybody. We are going to start a new journey into the book of Colossians, uh, starting with this very video. I, the reason I, I wanted to go to the book of Colossians is because we just finished up Philemon. And the church at Colossae, it was held in Philemon's house, most likely. So I wanted to dive into that church and see what God would have for us in this small four-chapter book, four-chapter epistle, letter from one particular guy in particular. And I'm, we're going to find out exactly who he is as soon as we read verse 1. Verse 1 reads, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God and Timothy, our brother. The first thing we see here in these simple few verses at the beginning is, number one, we see who wrote the letter. And who did write the letter? Paul, an apostle of Christ, Jesus, by the will of God and Timothy, our brother. We see that Paul wrote this letter. This is how Paul typically writes most of his letters. He puts out the fact that he is an apostle. Even though that he was not originally one of the 12, he still had every single qualification that Peter and John and them did as well. So the first thing we see is we see the author. The second thing we see here as we start verse 2 is this, is to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae. We see the audience who this letter from Paul was written to. Colossae was in this town that was about between 10 and 15 miles away from a church like Laodicea or Heropolis. And these, this little town might have been named for the rich mineral deposits that were there or the rich pasture land that was right outside the city. This was a very, uh, very impactful little city because it had such rich things, such rich resources right at its grasp. But I love how Paul, in his wisdom, and God through him, describes the church of Colossae to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ Jesus. Hmm. Faithful. We'll get to that in a moment. And then Paul finishes verse 2 by saying, grace to you and peace from God our Father. He gives his typical Pauline greeting. He does this in, I believe, every single one of his letters where he says grace and peace. But what are these two things? Let's dive, let's crack open this, this nut of what this greeting is. The first thing we see here is grace to you. Well, grace is God's favor. So he's saying God's favor upon your life. And then he comes to this and he says, and peace from God. Well, what is peace? Peace is having a healthy condition of living. Uh, I find this such an, an interesting way, and especially for us as we live in this time of COVID-19 where we're everybody's worried about health, where we're constantly worried about this, that, and the other thing. But Paul here was wishing you God's favor and a healthy living condition. Huh. So what? I mean, Pastor, you're, you're, you're talking about two verses uh, in the beginning of a book that you could say about almost anything. Well, that's true, but we're studying the book of Colossians. The book of Colossians, and the, these couple of things reminded me of three important questions that we need to be asking ourselves. The first one is simply this. Are you a faithful family member? Paul described these members at Colossae as being faithful they were faithful by his side in ministering to him. He, they were faithful to Christ. Are you a faithful family member? Not only to our local body, not only to your brothers and sisters in Christ, but also to Christ. Are you a faithful family member? Number two, the second question that we need to be thinking about here is, are you seeing God's favor in your life? You may be sitting there saying, Pastor, I, what do you mean God's favor? How am I seeing God's grace in my life? Well, I want you to understand something. Every single day that you live, every breath that you breathe is by grace alone. We sing that song here, grace alone, which God supplies. You know, we need to be thinking about every day of our life, every minute, everything that we do as part of God's favor in that he would see fit to allow us to be here in this moment, to go through 
the coronavirus, to go through quarantine. It's part of grace in our lives. So you're seeing God's favor in your life. And last but not least is this simple question. How are you seeing peace in your life? I don't know about you, but I have been able to reflect back on this time of quarantine and think about this and see how God has granted me peace throughout it. Are you able to look over your life and over the past couple of weeks or your life in general and say, I see God, how God has given me peace throughout it all. What a... What an amazing thing. Because what will all of those three questions do? They will force us to talk to our Heavenly Father, to give praise to His name, to ask for His help in being faithful, and for and, and, and thanking Him for the peace that only He can give us. Well, I hope that you take a little challenge out of these first two verses and in the book of Colossians. I want to remind you that on Wednesday, we're going to have another worship night here at church, and I hope you can join us for us. And why don't you send in prayer requests so that way they, we can be praying for them as well, whether that be on Wednesday or throughout the week. So send them on in as well. I hope, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.